All right, boys and girls, so in order to make our Jeff Koons inspired balloon dog, you're going to take your nine by 12 piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half this way and then you're folding it in half this way, okay? So that you have four equal rectangles, okay? So I did that over here with this page and I folded it in fours, okay? So you have four equal rectangles. So what you're gonna do is this project is based on basically drawing ovals on top of each other. So I have a few ovals that I started just to give, um, just to start off the project. Now, what you wanna do is I like to kind of use gesture line drawing to draw my ovals first, which is you kind of move your hands around and around to get the shape first. And what we're doing is we're doing one horizontal oval and then um, kind of like a diagonal oval on top and then another horizontal oval in the upper left quadrant. And I'm leaning my hands on the paper here so that I'm not um, moving. I have more structure and I'm not really moving the paper. So here I'm gonna do kind of like, if you also have the step-by-step -step guide with you. I'm gonna do the little tip of the nose here. And now I'm going to draw an oval. I'm gonna use the gesture line drawing going on top. Then after we're done erasing some of the lines to, to create the balloon dog shape, we're going to use a contour line to trace it in Sharpie. So I'll go back and forth. I'm leaning my hand on the paper so that I have, um, I have a, like, a place to not move my hand so much. And you have a little bit more control. So now we're gonna, have, we're gonna do the legs. We're gonna do the two front legs and we're going to do like kind of like a gesture drawing here, gesture around and around. And then we're going to just add a similar shape, but not so big because we're gonna do the leg that we can't see, the right leg. And eventually we're gonna, if you want, you can already start erasing some of the lines. So the overlapping ovals, you'll know what to use the contour line with later on because we want to have our front leg look like it's uh, overlapping on top of the body. So we're erasing these lines here. And we're also going to erase this line here. And you can see the structure of the balloon dog is really coming together. So if you want to do that along the way, you're more than welcome to. And it really comes to life when you start erasing the lines. So now we're going to do the hind legs. And I'm going to do, you also, by the way, use your hand that you're not working with and I'm going to kind of use this gesture line drawing to kind of get the shape of the oval and I'm just drawing it right on top and, and don't worry if you have these extra lines you get a better sense of shape when you use the gesture line drawing so nice and light so I'm kind of like doing part partial oval over here and now I'm going to be doing another oval. On top of the body. And lastly, we're going to do the tail. So don't forget that you're going to want to erase the lines inside your oval. And this is the beginning of our balloon dog. So when you're done drawing it in pencil, using the gesture lines, 
Now you're going to trace over all of your ovals and you wanna definitely have your lines erased before you do the tracing because you wanna make sure that you have the proper uh, placement of ovals, what's gonna be on top and what's gonna be underneath. So it doesn't matter which order you trace. What matters is with these, now what we're doing are contour lines. That's one continuous firm outline. And you wanna rotate your paper so that you have easy access for doing your contour line with the Sharpie. And then if you have any extra pencil marks, and if you kind of mess up like I did a little bit, you can just use your Sharpie to make it a thicker line. Um, if you have any extra pencil marks when you're done, you can erase it. And this is what's so much fun about this project is that this whole project is based on ovals for the most part, overlapping shapes. And when you're drawing animals or objects in general, everything is based on shapes and lines. So I'm gonna show you in the next video how to add value to your Jeff Koons dog.